On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, I'm going to make a one bite dessert. Cranberry pinwheels. I'll be using puff pastry and just a few ingredients for the filling. And then we'll put a nice egg wash on it and bake it. I have the oven preheated at 400 degrees. Let's get to the filling. I'm going to take about a cup of cranberries, dried cranberries. This is a half a cup of chopped walnuts. I have a half of a cup of sugar. That looks like a lot of sugar. And then I have some orange marmalade. This is about a tablespoon. The recipe called for orange zest, but I didn't have any on hand, so I'm going to use orange marmalade instead. Give this a good mix. Try and mix in that um, marmalade so that it's all over the cranberries and the nuts. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We'll just set that aside. I'm going to lightly flour this working space because I need to roll out the pastry sheet. Okay, I think I'm gonna kind of flour this rolling pin too. Okay, so I'm just going to roll this out a little bit. That's probably good. I'm going to go ahead and brush butter. This is just uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. So I will brush the sheet with butter. It said generously, but I'm going to make two of these, so I need to make sure that I reserve some of this butter for the second one. And then you place the walnut cranberry mixture on there. Let's see now. Let's see here. I think I'm going to go from right to left. So I want to put it over here. I've never done this before. You know what? I think if you spread it out throughout the whole piece, maybe that's what you need to do. There we go. I'm just going to use my hands. Let's just get that all over. You're probably wondering, what is she doing? I really don't know what I'm doing because I am not a baker. I'm just trying to find some recipes that are good for mahjong and I thought this might be a good one. So I just want to try to get a good bit of everything all over here. I'm just going to add a little bit more. All right. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, now I'm going to roll it up. 
I guess it would be probably easiest to roll this way. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to create kind of a pinwheel. So I want it to be nice and tight. I don't want it to break through though, so I got to be really careful. Okay. All right, there it is. Now we're going to pinch the seam. Okay, it's not pinching. Maybe I used too much flour. Kind of poked through a little bit in places. Just do the best you can. That's what I'm doing. Okay, now The next step is to do an egg wash. So I'm going to take an egg this is two tablespoons of water and one egg whisk it up we're going to use this brush and we'll do an egg wash I'm going to roll it and egg wash the other side. Okay. Then we're going to cut it into one inch pieces and then we'll stand it upright on parchment. Bring this in a little. Okay, now. Let's see here. I think I'll just do half, half again, half again, until it's where I think it's going to end up. So here we go. Those walnut chunks and cranberry chunks are a little bit of a challenge for this process here. There's the first log. Now, I don't know how anybody else would do this, but I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to clean all this up and then we'll repeat that process. Because I don't, this is going to be a mucky mess if I just put that pastry on here again. So I'm just going to clean this up and make a brand new go of it with a second sheet. So here we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna kind of flower this rolling pin too. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll this out a little bit. Okay. 
that's probably good. I'm going to go ahead and brush butter. This is just uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. So I will brush the sheet with butter. It said generously, but I'm gonna make two of these. So I need to make sure that I reserve some of this butter for the second one. And then you place the walnut cranberry mixture on there. Let's see now. Let's see here. I think I'm going to go from right to left. So I want to put it over here. I've never done this before. You know what? I think if you spread it out throughout the whole piece, maybe that's what you need to do. There we go. I'm just going to use my hands. Let's just get that all over. You are probably wondering, what is she doing? I really don't know what I'm doing because I am not a baker. I'm just trying to find some recipes that are good for mahjong and I thought this might be a good one. So I just want to try to get a good bit of everything all over here. I'm just going to add a little bit more. All right. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay, now I'm going to roll it up. I guess it would be probably easiest to roll this way. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to create kind of a pinwheel. So I want it to be nice and tight. I don't want it to break through though, so I got to be really careful. Okay. All right, there it is. Now we're going to pinch the seam. Okay, it's not pinching. Maybe I used too much flour. Kind of poked through a little bit in places. Just do the best you can. That's what I'm doing. Okay, now The next step is to do an egg wash. So I'm going to take an egg I got my parchment wet. Okay, 
egg wash. This is two tablespoons of water and one egg. Whisk it up. Oopsies. I made a mess. Okay, now we are going to, I think I have a different brush. We're going to use this brush and we'll do an egg wash. Okay, I'm going to roll it and egg wash the other side. Okay. Then we're gonna cut it into one inch pieces and then we'll stand it upright on parchment. So I'm gonna just move this out of the way and the butter and the flour. Bring this in a little. Okay, now let's see here. I think I'll just do half, half again, half again until it's where I think it's gonna end up. So here we go. Okay. Those walnut chunks and cranberry chunks are a little bit of a challenge for this process here. and just set it upright. Okay. Don't remember how far apart it said to put it. Let me look. We're supposed to put them one inch apart. So we have one, two. It says to have about 10, 10 slices. I just made two. So I think I'm making them a little bit too thick. So I'm gonna cut these a little smaller. 10 slices per log. Okay, so there's that one. We'll try to get two out of this one here. Okay, that end piece, I'm just gonna cut the extra dough off. That's quite a little piece. Okay, so this one, we'll try to make t five cuts out of this one. That'll be good. I wanna cut the edge off though, real quick. There. Okay, here we go. You want to try to retain the round shape so you don't want to press too hard 
Otherwise you'll end up with a rectangle. We want pinwheels. Okay. All right. I got a little bit more butter out. I'm going to re-flour this surface and then we'll do another log. I think that looks pretty good. So, butter. Butter's next. Okay, done with the butter. Now, we'll put on the rest of this topping. Spread it around. I think this one has a little bit more filling. That's okay. I think it'll be just fine. Okay, now we will roll again. Nice and tight at the beginning. I'm going to pull the bits in a little bit and leave kind of a cleaner edge. Maybe it'll pinch easier that way. I don't, oh, oh. Okay, let's see if the pinching is better this time. It really isn't pinching together very well. I think what I'm gonna do this time, I think I'm gonna cut it before the egg mixture. If I cut it before the egg mixture, it won't, it'll be easier to handle, I think. So let's see. How that goes let's see if I'm right all right now I'm gonna mark it one two three four one two three four all right just try to keep it together I guess we'll see how this brushing goes I think it's definitely easier to cut dry than with all that egg on there. Oh yeah, it was definitely easier to, br uh, to cut dry. So now what I'm gonna do is wash my hands. And now we'll brush like so. Up one side and then the other to the top. Back to front, front to back. And then we'll turn them and do the other side. And we'll just 
just brush the backs real quick. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make a little bit more with another filling. Okay, now we'll just lay it on the tray. You can see it raw at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. We'll start on the 12 minute side and take a peek at it, just so we don't burn it. I always burn food. I don't want to burn it because I don't have any other puff pastry thawed. I guess it really doesn't take that long to thaw puff pastry, like 40 minutes, but it's getting late. So I'll check it in 12 minutes and when it's done, I'll bring it out and let you see. Here they are. They smell delicious. Okay, now what we need to do is just carefully place them on a cooling rack. Some of them came apart a little bit. I think that's where the pinching the dough together is going to be key. But even if they came apart a little bit, oh my goodness, they're still going to be really pretty and I'm sure they're going to be tasty. Once we get these on here, we're gonna drizzle them with honey. Just a little bit. Okay, so now We'll drizzle it with just a little bit of honey on each one. So I'm just going to let those sit for a few minutes and then we'll plate. And then we'll have a little taste. It smells really good. Let's plate this up and then have a taste. Here's what they look like. Isn't that pretty? That's the one I'll taste. Look how little that is. You know what? I should have one that's falling apart, actually. I think uh, this one right here is the one that fell apart, or just, it didn't fall apart. It just kind of came unwrapped a little bit. So I think what I need to figure out how to do is pinch the edges together. Because since you roll it, the pinwheels, come undone. Ooh, look at that caramelization on that. That I bet would be really tasty. I think this would be a good dessert. It would also, I think, be good for breakfast. Okay, here we go. Well, that's a really pretty one right there. I'll save this one for somebody special because it's so pretty. And look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. 
All right, this is the one I will taste because it kind of came apart. Do you see right here how it's kind of coming unrolled? I've got to learn how to pinch the edges closed with this puff pastry. So I'm going to go in for a taste. Okay, now listen, it is because of the honey more likely than not it is a bit sticky and crumbly so we definitely need napkins and i have napkins this time so let's have a little taste Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is scrumptious. Does that remind you of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Truly scrumptious. Truly, truly scrumptious. Look at that. It is delicious and it's nice and warm still. I would definitely nuke it before you eat it. If you're gonna, you're not gonna eat it right away, nuke it for like 30 seconds so it's nice and warm. It smells like a bakery in here. It smells so good and it's so tasty and the walnuts add a really nice texture and flavor and then the sweetness of the cranberries it's so good and then the honey mmm so good mm. it's a little messy and sticky though I think I might have a, a little pack of um, wipies so people could grab a wipey and clean their hands off before they touch the tiles. Otherwise you're gonna have sticky tiles. So if you do use this recipe for mahjong, make sure you've got a little pack of wipies for people but it is good and this is about a four bite snack but i do think this would be awesome at you know maybe an evening kind of a dessert offering and then if you have a brunch this would be a fabulous brunch item i think oh it's so good i think it'd be good anytime Some of these might be five bites, but they're delicious. Give this a try. Mmm. They're beautiful, tasty. Definitely something I wouldn't make often though. Maybe once a year for a special event because they're definitely not good for the diet. Absolutely not, but they're very tasty and delicious and they're pretty mm. very good try this recipe yourself let me know what you think about it if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any new recipes that might be good for your next Mahjong event. Between now and the next Mahjong, Nosh and such, may all your picks be keepers. Mm. Really good.